Silken Secrets. Weavers in China discovered the steps necessary to harvest silk thread from the cocoon of the silkworm sometime before 2500 BCE. The origins of the fibers and the process for preparing and weaving silk were carefully guarded secrets for thousands of years. Traders traveled over deserts and mountains to buy the luxurious material and to try to unravel its mysteries. Today, China is home to large textile factories and small artesian workshops. A few highly skilled Chinese weavers still use traditional methods to turn silk, gold, and silver thread into Najing, Yunjing, or cloud brocade. Their art and knowledge are collectively recognized by the United Nations as an intangible cultural heritage. Land of Linen Egypt has long been celebrated for its high-quality cloth. As early as 4500 BCE, Egyptian men harvested dried and beet flax plants to remove the seeds. The outer fleshy part of the stem was allowed to rot away in a process called rioting. Teams of women then cleaned, separated, spliced, and twisted the inner flax fibers into threads for linen cloth. The finest, softest weaves were nearly transparent and were worn by high-status and wealthy individuals. But linen was not reserved only for clothing. It was used for bedding, toweling, and bandages, and was wrapped around jars to protect food and cosmetics. Linen even served as a kind of money, bartered for other goods and services. Over the centuries, Egyptian weavers adapted to demands, growing new crops to harvest for fibers, building looms, and developing weaving schools. Contemporary Egyptian weavers create everything from vibrant carpets to soft and sturdy cotton cloth sold and traded around the world. A City of Textiles Around 755 CE, a new Islamic civilization known as Al-Andulas arose in the Liberian Peninsula, now Portugal and Spain. Along with other traditions, the North African and Arabian people who moved to this area brought expertise in growing cotton, cultivating silk, and weaving luxurious fabrics. They wove silk brocades, featured mythical beasts, Arabic inscriptions, and geometric patterns richly dyed with colors obtained from plants like saffron, madder, and woad. They wove cotton, wool, and linen into clothing and household items. Between the 10th and 15th centuries, thousands of looms were at work in the city. Of Cordoba alone, the lush designs and rich colors of Moorish rugs, hangings, and fabrics were highly prized then and remain so to this day. They can be seen in Renaissance paintings, churches, Moscow's, and museums. <laughs>